everyone, this is Justin from TechUnfolding.com, and I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tip here, how to use um, Hotspot Shield on uh, Vista 64-bit. Um, this is because, well, Hotspot Shield was not uh, programmed to run on a 64-bit Vista operating system. Instead, it's only designed to, on, to work on a 32, but uh, I'm going to be showing you quickly how to do that, and how it how to set it up and go through all the settings and everything. It's uh, really easy and it requires no downloading of software or anything like such like that. Uh, but then after I'm going to quickly be showing you that if you're located outside of the US you can use Hulu.com which I am located outside of the US so I'll be showing you that it can be used to watch videos on sites such as Hulu.com. To start off here what we need to do is click uh, start and then go to network. Alright, so you've uh, clicked network and what you're going to do next is you're going to come up here to uh, network and sharing and you're going to click that button and once that has loaded up you are going to come over here to the left side and you're going to click uh, setup of connection or network. You're going to click that. When the, the window pops up you're going to scroll down and click on connect to a workplace set up a dial up or a VPN connection to your workplace we are going to be setting up a VPN because well hotspot shield uses a VPN network so if we are going to click next and now it asks how do you want to connect well we're not going to use dial up so we're going to be using a VPN which I already said before you're going to click that and when this um, window pops up asking for IP addresses and names and stuff like that, you're going to leave that and you're going to open up your web browser. Once you've got your uh, web browser loaded, you're going to go to the following website, hotspotshield.com slash clientless slash iPhone, and you're going to go to that website, and this is what will pop up. It's going to say, welcome to Hotspot Shield for iPhone. Well, we're not using the iPhone but we are going to be using some of the some of the settings and some of the passwords and usernames that will be given to us for the settings that will allow us to set up the VPN on the computer. So you're going to click get started. Once uh, once it's loaded, you are going to go down here to the this uh, big button that says get account ID. You're going to click that. This will give you a username and password, a unique username and password that will allow you to log into the network. So you're going to click uh, Get Account ID. So that is done. And now in uh, this area here, you have your username and password. And up here is uh, your your IP address and a whole bunch of other settings and passwords and all that. That I, These are all going to be needed at one point during your setup. So you're going to keep this this uh, website open and you are going to now um, go back to where we left the setup. Alright so uh, now we're back into the setup window here and we're going to be continuing with the setup and what we're going to be doing is getting the information taken from that website and we're going to be importing it into the different steps here on the setup of the VPN. So what we're going to be doing next is we are going to be uh, inputting the internet address of the the VPN, the Hotspot Shields uh, VPN network, which always stays the same. So you can enter what I'm in, what I'm inputting, which is 64.55.144.10. And for the destination name, it really doesn't matter. Anything can be inputted, but I'm going to be um, be putting in a Hotspot Shield. And also uh, down here in these uh, boxes, click uh, select don't connect now, just set it up so I can connect later. This is because we need to change some uh, advanced settings later and we don't want it to be connecting after we finish these steps. So we're going to click next. And here where it says type in your username and password, you're now going to be inputting that information taken from the website so uh, for me it's I'm just gonna make something up so um, 
I'm just going to put in ABC123. But remember, you, whatever is on that website, you guys have to input into these fields because that information is always changing per user and stuff. So I entered in my username and password. You are going to select uh, remember this password because you don't want to have to input it every time you connect to uh, to the VPN. And uh, you are going to click create. And once it's done, leave it. And we are now going to go. Now the next step what we need to do is to uh, go and we need to change a few more settings. So what we're going to do is go uh, start and then click connect to. So you've clicked uh, connect to and the next step is to look underneath the networks here and you're going to right click uh, your hotspot shield uh, VPN connection that you've created and you're going to click properties. And once that's loaded you're going to go over to networking. You're going to click that and now under type of VPN which it currently says automatic you are going to change that to the L2 TP IPsec VPN uh, setting protocol this will allow you to use the hotspot shields uh, VPN because this is the, the type that is required and what you're going to do now is click uh, over here IPsec settings and you're going to change the use pre-shared key for authentication this is required and uh, for all um, hotspot shields uh, settings for all their uh, connections they use the same the same keyword which is password so you're going to enter that in click ok click ok one more time and you're done so now we're going to try it out we're going to click connect is connecting, you're gonna, the window will pop up, you're going to click uh, connect again. It says it's connecting to hotspot shield. It's going to wait, verifying, done. So you successfully connect to hotspotshield.com and their private VPN network. And uh, now I will be showing you that once this is done, I can access Hulu. Alright, so I've loaded up my web browser here and I'm just going to quickly show you guys um, that I can access uh, Hulu.com and so I'm just going to go up to the address bar and type in Hulu.com do that in, the website loads up and I go here, check out some popular episodes click on uh, Share Family, now let's check out Heroes going to let that load let the video load. I'm going to get an error pop up because I have an ad blocker software on, or I don't know if it's because I use Firefox or something like that, but it's not it's telling me to get support to display ads. But we'll just let that go. While that's loading, I'll also tell you that up here you will get the occasional ad displaying on, um, on your web browser. This is due to the hotspot shield because there is advertisements. Alright, it's just finishing here. And there you go. I am viewing Heroes on Hulu.com and this is over the hotspot shield VPN network.